Simon Doherty, can you explain something here? You've got two teams involved in this tournament. I mean, you've got two hats or two coats, two tops on. That's right. Well, I play with RMA, but I'm also the Ulster University manager. So it'll be an interesting one. I'm really looking forward to the game on Saturday. Yeah, I can see a problem there somewhere. Can you? Well, the first game is, is Jordanstown against RMA. And uh, I have my Ulster University hat on this Saturday and really looking forward to it, you know. And, it's interesting coming from both camps, you know, we're actually heading to training this evening and I'm training with Armagh tomorrow evening, so I'm sure I'll get a bit of stick somewhere or another. So on the day you're playing with Armagh, then at half time you could go over to Jordanstown and you could say, <laughs> target that fella because he's not that good for Armagh. <laughs> well, some, some, of the, some of the Jordanstown guys actually said, I hope you're playing so we can get a good go at you. But no, I, I'll be on the sideline for Jordanstown on Saturday. So. And in all seriousness, what do you think about this competition, both from a county point of view and a university point of view? I think it's absolutely brilliant. You know, we've had very, we've had very good success with Ulster University over the last number of years. We've got to the final before. We really want to compete well in this competition. From an RMA point of view as well, we've also got to the final. We're looking forward to the National League. And I think it's perfect preparation for both teams, for RMA and for Ulster University. And even as an Ulster University fellow, do you appreciate what Queen's do in hosting this competition, their facilities, and just putting it on and organising it at this time of year? Absolutely, absolutely. I couldn't credit Queen's University enough. The McGurk family were here this evening. It's a wonderful thing for them. I'm a very, very proud Ulster University man. I'm a proud RMA man. I'm a proud St John's man as well. And representing Conor McGurk, who was a St John's player as well, a goalkeeper, I think it's a great tournament. And you're a hurler through and through, first and foremost though, and there's been some talk in the last while about the promotion of the game and is there enough done in this part of the world, but surely this is exactly what is needed, it's a step in the right direction. Well absolutely, I spoke to Mrs McGurk this evening and I said to her, seeing the carried off and St John's kids playing at half time of the final over the last number of years, I think it's absolutely wonderful to see that and the promotion of the game has to continue. And when you think of Conor McGurk, you know, he only died in 2014, it's still very recent, still very raw and yet this competition has been built up really, really quickly and it's so important so quickly. Absolutely, well I have to credit the Ulster Council as well for their input and uh, I think with Queen's University they've really driven the competition well, including the colleges as well as the county teams and I see the competition only going from strength to strength. And the family have done so well as well, they're so impressive as well and they have really created a legacy already in Connor's name that every hurler must be impressed by. Absolutely, well you can see from Mrs McGurk's words this evening, she's proud of her family, she's proud of the tournament, she's proud of what Queen's has, br has brought to their family and to brought to Ulster Hurling as well. So I think it's a great tournament, it's a very, very proud thing for everybody involved and we're really looking forward to the competition. I'm just thinking, you've two chances of winning this. <laughs> Well, we see how things go on Saturday anyway. It'll be, be a great contest, so um, I'll not stay neutral. I'll have my Ulster University hat on, so it'll be an interesting one.